So pay close attention to the words about to be spoken. Open your minds and let attention be your only token. So when I was young, um, our Sunday school teachers used to teach us to live our life like the next day was when we see Jesus. Now this was supposed to teach us to be watchmen. To watch the way we talk, watch the way we walk, watch the way we act and pay close attention for his coming. He's coming. So dear believer, yeah I know it gets hard to stand but then the best version of yourself is found in the one who made you so run to him. Forget everything. If you have to do a factory reset and go to him, do it and run to him. Forget all your settings because he had options, but he came down and chose you. He left his airtime, came down and chose you. He knew all the data on you. He knew every single thing you did. He had all the bundles of sin, all the sins you committed in the midnight, all your midnight bundles. He knew he carried it to the cross, died and arose with all power in his hands. He died and made himself empty and empty and he's now with you everywhere you go. He's coming back for you. He's coming back. He died and he arose with all power in his hands and now he gives that power to you. Power to stand. Power to watch. Power to wait. Power to stand in him. Power to stay awake. Power. Power to withstand the powers of the enemy. Power. And to our dear ministers, you are watchmen and watchwomen, so men watch you, so be careful. Be careful of your actions. And as a watchman and as a watchwoman, you are a hero. So no matter the storms and no matter the attacks from snakes, scorpions and wolverines, even in the darkest hour, keep your eyes fixed on the light like a cyclops. Keep your eyes fixed on the light of the world and he will save you. Keep your mind fixed on him. But then beware. Because if your act of waiting for him becomes more of an occupation, more of an obligation than an act of loving you for ex-men, because he's welcome for people who serve him more than the ex-men. So you for ex-men. So like Netflix, let's keep our eyes fixed on him. Like Netflix, let's fix our eyes on the earth and finish our work. Keep your eyes fixed on him and do not be distracted by those who dress fancy like fancy like the peaky blinders and who try to blind us with their false doctrine and give us more than 13 reasons why we should believe in them and not Jesus. Because you should have the power to be breaking bad intentions and ideas. Beware of the false prophets, for they are here. Don't let those ideas have a prison break, but rather keep them in check. How do you keep them in check? Keep your eyes fixed on the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy says before him, endured the cross, despiting his shame, despite his shame, despite his shame, and is seated on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. He's seated on the throne above and has no time for a game of thrones, for he alone is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. So he has no time for a game of thrones. So like Netflix, let's fix our eyes on the author and finish out of our faith. Don't get tired. Wait. Don't get weary. Wait. Don't get distracted. Watch. Don't sleep. Watch. For he's coming. He's coming. So I'm here to tell you that like Netflix, let's fix our eyes on the author and finish out of our faith. And don't sleep. Don't sleep.